when you have fractions and decimals to be placed on a number line, it can be confusing. Sometimes it's easier to convert all the numbers into just fractions or all into decimals, unless you're pretty confident of knowing some of the basic ones. So, for example, on this number line here, it says zero to four. Before I place any of these numbers onto this number line, I'd actually place the whole numbers on here first. So from zero to four, what's half of four? Two, so two would be at halfway, which is probably roughly about here, I'd place two. And halfway between zero and two would be one. And between two and three, oh sorry, two and four would be three. So now on my number line is zero, one, two, three, four. Then I can then start placing these accordingly to where I would position them. So let's just look at this one anyway. Six, six. It's having six slices of pizza in one whole box, it can actually hold six. The denominator tells me the whole amount, which is six, and six slices. The numerator tells me I can put six slices in my box of six. So six, six is equal to one whole. This one here. So here I've got one six, two six, three six, four, five, six six equal one whole. So that particular one, six six I would place here. Six six. Six six is equal to one whole. If it happened to be twelve over six, and it's twelve slices, this is where you need to know you're dividing and your multiplication skills, this would actually be two whole pizzas, which means it would go here. I would have 12, 6. So I know this one is correct. 6, 6 will equal one whole. If it was 10 tenths, it will equal one whole. If it was 100 out of 100, one whole. 57 out of 57, one whole. Next one, it says 14, uh, 14 sevenths, and we know 12 six is two, two holes. 14 sevenths must be two holes. So 14 sevenths would go here. So we've done this one. 0 0.1. Okay, so it's not enough to make, there's no whole numbers here. We're talking ones, no, no, there's no ones. And we're looking at the tenths column. The same with the next one. No ones, no whole numbers. And we've got five, five tenths. The next one's got two, two holes and five tenths. So 0 0.1. In order for me to do 0 0.1, I might start with 0 0.5. 0 0.5 is half of one. So half of one, I come here, is 0 to 1. Here would be half, and I know half is the same as 0 0.5. So 0 0.5 is here, 6 6 is 1, I could 10 tenths would equal 1. So what I really want to do is from 0 to 1, these are the whole numbers, I'm going to just cut them up evenly into 10 pieces. So if this is 5, that would be about 2.5, so here would be 2. One, three, four. So this will be 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 10 out of 10, 10 tenths, which is the same as saying one whole. So what I've done here, I've done to work out 0 0.1. I started with this one, 0 0.5, because it's halfway. It seems an easier one to work with. And then I was able to break them up from 0 to 10, or 0 to 1, into 10 pieces. Now, if this one here, 0 0.1, had 100s, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 0 0.10, 0 0.11, 0 0.12, 0 0.13,
0.15, we're dealing with 15 hundredths, in which case, between 0 and 10, I'm going to actually break them up into 100 slices. So between 0 and 0 0.1, I could actually just put a 0 on the end, because then we're dealing with hundreds. 0 0.10, 0 0.20, 0 0.30. So 0 0.15, here is 0 0.1, here is 0 0.2. I'll just put in a 0 on the end as a placeholder to make it hundredths. So I have 0 0.10, 0 0.20, 0 0.15 must be right in the middle. Here would be 0 0.15. Now I know this is not one of these on there, but I'll just to show you what they look like. The last one, 2.5, whereas I want the students to understand it as 2 and, so the decimal point means and, some bits, not enough to make a whole. So 2 and 5 tenths. So look here, there's 2, not enough to make 3 holes. So halfway would be 2.5. Five. And if you're dealing with hundredths, then it'd be two and fifty hundredths. If I was dealing with thousandths, two and five hundred thousandths. They're actually equal. It's just being cut into smaller pieces. So that's pretty much what we'd be doing with these ones. Just on the next one up here, four holes or four out of one, it's the same as saying four holes. So that one would go back here. Four out of one. So in this particular case I can deal with this. So I've got tenths, tenths, tenths. This one is hundredths. In order to help me place this accurately, I can put a placeholder on the end. That way I've got the same amount of digits. Do that, give those a go.